Hello, my name is Stefan Dijs. I'm the Information Systems Manager responsible for the implementation of the Smart Shopping Trolley Solution. The content of this 10-minute presentation will take us through the executive summary, an overview of the technology and the required changes, as well as the financial analysis, and we'll conclude with some general recommendations. The concept for the Smart Shopping Trolley system is based on advanced interactive technology deployed across 10 stores. The opportunities for the business would be automated customer payments, reducing the queuing times in stores, as well as facilitating uh, the co-creation with our customers. In terms of benefits, we anticipate revenues in the range of 24.3 million over six years, with a cost base of 17.1 million. Uh, we expect minimal upfront investments due to the fact that we will be leasing all equipment. Uh, in terms of risks, uh, of course, technology failures will result in business disruption. We need to minimize that wherever possible. Uh, in terms of the key financial indicators, revenue is mentioned, 24.3 million, cost base 17.1 million, with a positive NPV of 4.1 million. Uh, the payback period is year three, with an internal rate of return of about 58%, and the profitability index of 1.2. Without going through the details of this background slide, I'd like to highlight two or three important points. Uh, first of all, the research done by the consulting firm AT Kearney, which found that around 40% of the food that ends up in our shopping carts is impulse bought. Uh, influencing this impulse buying behavior is a big part of supermarket strategies, and this is something we will be taking into account. Uh, the second point is around the data analytics that we are able to obtain from the smart trolley systems uh, which can be used by supermarkets to better understand what their customers buy, but as well as what they do not buy, and how to better position the products that they uh, do not buy. Uh, this is again another point that we have taken into account in, in our research. Uh, finally, another important point for the purpose of this project is uh, the fact that we made an assumption that the new technology would attract 5,000 new customers across 10 stores, uh, generating roughly about $1,000 per annum, which is about $83 uh, per month. The smart trolley concept consists of three key players in the supply chain, the supermarkets, the customers, and the suppliers. From a supermarket's perspective, we will be deploying 1,000 smart trolley systems across 10 stores, so about 100 uh, trolleys per store. That is going to improve our real-time and direct interaction with our customers. From a customer perspective, they'll be able to synchronize a shopping list with personal smartphones, and we hope that would lead to improved customer relationship uh, satisfaction as well as the continued loyalty we've seen from our customers to date. Um, obviously, one of the key uh, benefits for the customer as well will be having to spend more time with their family and less time uh, shopping and waiting in, in queues. From a supplier's perspective, we expect this um, three-way communication process to improve the supplier collaboration, um, which may result in better on-time delivery due to real-time data being available for the suppliers, um, and hopefully that will result also in, in increased discounts uh, to the supermarkets, which uh, will be passed on to the customers. Um, and last but not least, I think one of the key areas the suppliers will be able to benefit is from that direct customer feedback uh, they would be getting uh, based on the value co-creation approach we expect to, to see. From a technology perspective, we'll be focusing on five areas. Uh, the network, where we will use radio frequency identification technology for automatic identification uh, and tracking of, of products. Uh, from a hardware perspective, we'll use a smart trolley system, which is uh, with an HD touch screen. Uh, which we consider to be more user-friendly with a smart uh, multi-touch screen and lower power consumption. Uh, from a software uh, view, viewpoint, we will be using the transaction processing system, which automates, tracks, and organizes customer data. Uh, E-commerce, this is where we would have the smart card technology to process financial transactions based on personal identification e-cards. And then, of course, we've got the management and maintenance of all these uh, systems. So we've also got the shopping trolley fleet maintenance, about a thousand carts, uh, including the repairs of these carts, uh, but as mentioned, um, also the maintenance of the systems and software, uh, in addition to staff training, uh, as well as any health and safety uh, measures that we need to take into account. With respect to the required changes of the business impact, uh, without going through all the points, the business strategy 
view is that uh, shopping technology will become an integral part of the overall uh, corporate strategy um, and the way this technology is used for customers of the, of the future. Uh, from a marketing standpoint, we expect to see more targeted and customized marketing campaigns based on uh, much more detailed customer profile data. Uh, from a finance department perspective, we would expect certain reporting systems to be updated or upgraded uh, to be aligned with the smart trolley financial transactions process. Uh, Production-wise, um, we would expect uh, the direct customer feedback being provided to improve certain areas of the, the production and, of course, the products being sold to, to our customers. Uh, HR, we expect uh, to see some uh, staff training and development required on a number of smart trolley um, technologies to be able to manage those and, 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 and educate our customers on how to use them. Uh, we also expect to see uh, much stricter customer data protection policies introduced uh, within the organization due to the, the, the various data we would be gathering as part of this, uh, this technology. In terms of required resources, we expect to spend about 50k on the network, uh, roughly about another 45k on the hardware side, which will uh, cover the thousand trolleys and the thousand screens to be leased. Uh, software, we would need to spend roughly about 35k. Smart cards for a thousand smart cards, including the payment system, we expect that to cost roughly about 25k per month. And then, of course, the management and maintenance that needs to be uh, covered, that's going to cost us about 45k per month. And last but not least, the project resources required during the first two years of implementation, which we've estimated to cost us about 80k per month. In total, we expect to spend roughly about 280k or 3.3, 3.4 million dollars uh, per annum. Uh, the cost-benefit analysis has been completed based on uh, taking into account the pilot phase, so one store. Uh, there's no revenue generating benefits achieved during the pilot phase. Uh, the total cost of the pilot uh, store has been about 2.3 million for all the various components required. Um, with the successful completion of, this, of the pilot, we expect to achieve 35% discount if we roll out uh, the remaining 10 stores uh, based on economies of scale we can achieve in, in that area. So for the full implementation of the 10 stores, we expect the total revenues to be about 24.3 million over the six year period, with a total cost base of 14.8 million in addition to the 2.3 uh, already spent for the pilot phase. Um, there's not going to be any upfront capital investment as the whole financing will be based on an operational lease um, and technology refresh may be required after year six. We've estimated that to be about three million, but it's not included in the business case. Uh, the table below shows at a very high level the cost uh, benefit analysis table. Um, at a high level, total costs are in the range of about 17.1 million over the six year period versus benefits of about 24.3 million. The business case model financial summary now shows a six year overview where we've got total benefits of 24.3 million, total costs 17.1 million, and you've got the various cost components broken down uh, below that. Um, from a cash flow perspective, we will be negative cash flow in the first two, three years, if looking at the cumulative uh, cash flow position. Uh, net present value is about 4.1 million, with a working capital rate of about 10%. Uh, the payback period is three years, with an internal rate of return of 58%, and the PI of 1.2. Um, in terms of a sensitivity analysis based on three scenarios, uh, scenario one simply assumes a 35% cost reduction we would be able to achieve if we roll out the 10 stores through optimization and further negotiation. That would result in our NPV improving from 4.1 million to 6.5 million and the payback period improving by one year from three years to two years. Our return on investment would be 103% uh, versus the 58% uh, currently shown on the previous uh, slide. Scenario 2, uh, this assumes a 12-month delay, um, which is going to result in us having to carry the project resources for a bit longer, for 12 months. That is going to result in a cost increase, which is, which is shown in year 3. Uh, so our cost would remain at 3.36 million rather than go down to 2.6 million. That is going to result in our net present value 
reducing from the 4.1 million in the previous slide to 3.6 million. Uh, the payback period would, would stay at three years, but our um, internal rate of return would uh, go down from 58% to about 50%. Scenario three uh, assumes a 25% less benefits achieved uh, in terms of revenue. Uh, as you'll see in the total benefits uh, row, uh, beginning year three, we would no longer uh, achieve 5 million per annum in terms of sales, but just 3.75 million. That would result in our revenues going down from anticipated uh, 24.3 to 19.3 million, which would in effect uh, reduce our NPV to about 900k from 4.1 million on the previous slide, which would result in the payback period going from year three to year four, and our internal rate of return uh, dropping from about 58% to 22.5%. Conclusion and recommendations. Well, the conclusion is that the financial benefits of 24.3 million clearly outweigh the costs of 17.1 million required for the rollout across 10 stores in the different regions. Uh, as a result, the recommendations uh, would be to go ahead with the full implementation across the 10 stores, uh, subject, of course, to the business case being approved uh, by the board. Uh, we would also recommend to go ahead with scenario one, the best case, which assumes that 35% cost reduction can be achieved uh, through further cost optimization and negotiation with our suppliers. Um, with that said, we also need to continue investing in an innovation fund to ensure we maintain our competitive advantage as this technology continues to evolve in the marketplace. Uh, finally, and uh, of most important, we need to have the full management support uh, throughout this uh, project, uh, during, especially during the implementation phase, to ensure we uh, avoid any delays in the project timelines which are, which are shown below. Uh, we would like to avoid moving from a best case scenario to a worst case uh, scenario. In terms of the overall plan, we hope to get approval uh, of the plan uh, this year, uh, implement the plan in 2016, uh, evaluate the plan in 2017, and then fine tune it uh, for the period uh, between 2018 and 2021. Thank you very much.